Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Let's have a little bit of fun today. Oath of the Gatewash, we're gonna crack a few booster packs here and see if we get an expedition. Welcome back to my channel, I am Matt Caster Mage, and I do make Magic the Gathering content every single day here on YouTube. So if you do enjoy my work, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing and joining in on all the fun we have here. You know, I've had better luck pulling expeditions out of Oath of the Gatewatch out of any of the sets that have had lottery cards. For whatever reason, I just have the best luck with Oath of the Gatewatch. And let's see if we actually continue that streak of luck right now. Not a lot of potential here. We only have four packs, but you know what? I'm feeling lucky today. Let's see if we can pull anything out of these. Even if we don't, uh, this is just, you know, just a little bit of fun. Four packs. Just felt like doing a little short video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully you guys enjoy this set as well. I really enjoyed this set back in standard and I still enjoy this set. I crack it open on occasion like today. Okay, we got a Timber Gorge is our first uncommon here. Malachar Soothsayer with a Wall of Resurgence. And we've got a rare here. It is a Gladeheart Cavalry. Not a very good rare. And then I get a Full Art Island. Not too bad. Next pack of Oath of the Gatewatch. Let's see what we get. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. We do got a waste. Not too bad. Embodiment of Fury, Ruin in their wake, Flaying Tendrils, and, ooh, nice. Joran, Jory N, Ruin Diver, Merfolk Wizard there. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, draw a card. That's actually pretty decent. And then we get a Full Art Mountain as well with a Knight Ally token. Okay. Not great so far. Maybe we'll pull a Mythic. I believe Kozilek, the great distortion from the set, is like, uh, what, over 30 bucks or something right now? Something insane. Okay. All right, first uncommon Cyclone Sire. Step Glider, Storm Chaser Mage. I remember this is a Redonkulous back in Standard. And we got a rare here. It is Fall of the Titans. Not really going to do it here for value, guys. Not really going to do it here for value. Last pack of Oath of the Gatewatch. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video of mine and hit the like button if you like Oath of the Gatewatch. Did you prefer Battle for Zendikar? I mean, it did have the better expeditions in it, but I think Oath of the Gatewatch overall I enjoyed more for its uh, the Eldrazi in this set. Also, Slip Through Space, great card, by the way. Shout out, Slip Through Space. Okay, so make a stand. That is my stand. Oath of the Gatewatch is better than Battle for Zendikar. And then we have Essence Depleter. With the Malakurth Soothsayer. And we've got... Ooh, Sylvan Advocate. Actually, not a bad rare. That's actually pretty decent. And we've got a land. It is a Plains. And that is all she wrote, unfortunately, for this opening. Nothing too crazy out of here. I mean, Sylvan Advocate's okay. Wastes. Yeah. Not great. But again, I wasn't expecting to pull an, <laughs> pull an expedition, but I thought it was just a little taster video for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the like button as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.